Chi-Man here. Today we are checking out my all-analog AeroRec module, the Tonus VCF. For a long time, I wanted an ARP 2600. Over the years, I've watched the price of the 2600 going up and up. Meanwhile, my pocketbook is going down and down. Then it dawned on me. All I really wanted was the filter in my EuroRack, and I would be set. I chose the earliest filter version, the 4012. The 4012 filter modules were installed in 2600s for about 5 years, and were encapsulated as to conceal their inner workings. Later on, it would be revealed that its design infringed upon Moog's letter filter design, and hence a main reason its sound was preferred over its successor. To see what all the fuss was about, I built my own version on a breadboard, and later got the chance to audition a friend's real 2600, the one with the 4012. I found it to have an impressive and very musical sound. Resonance has a very pleasing sine wave self-oscillation at lower frequencies. At higher frequencies, the filter belts out a cornucopia of squelches, bleeps, and warbles. I was so moved by these sound experiments as to build a Eurorack adaptation. I'm calling it the Tonus VCF on account that the Tonus Art logo design was used on the earliest 2600s. Many of the G Cliff Art logos also had the 4012 filter as well. Great care was taken to keep the Tonus VCF design as close to the original as possible, including component selection and transistor pair matching. My modules are painstakingly handcrafted in the USA. Without any further ado, let's listen to the Tonus VCF in action. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.